Welcome to another episode of Two Vintage Guys Sitting in the Loge, watching an amazing movie on the Vintage Film Channel. Hello, John. <laughs> hey, Art. We are Vintage Guys, and we are talking about vintage films here. Yes. Um, the Vintage Film Channel uh, on YouTube and VintageFilmChannel.com is filled with, I call them rescued. They're rescued <laughs> TV shows, rescued movies. Some of them are really great. Some of them are not so great. Today, this is a not so great one. You this think? Is a, you think? <laughs> I, I, it was only a half hour and I had trouble sitting through it. And it was only a pilot and thank God it never got picked up. <laughs> yeah, well, now we know why, don't right. we? We've saw it. So here's, for the folks watching, here's what it is. It's a half hour sitcom, 1970. Yeah. Two lovable goofball guys are work in a uh, hotel, and uh, they uh, they they somehow bumble into this testimonial dinner for mafioso. All right, and of course, because they're goofballs, they screw everything up. They get in trouble. Uh, their lives are on the line, and uh, madness ensues. And it, it is your favorite scene, Art. Every. Every character actor that ever played a mafioso it's is here. in this room. <laughs> it's in this room on this <laughs> on this very day. Okay, <laughs> well, the last time that they even wanted to be seen with anybody <laughs> else in a mafia movie. Okay, a mo <laughs> not not mob. Let's not let's not give the mafia a bad name. This is a mobster. Yes, a, a group right. of mobsters. Right now, you can tell just by the way these guys enter. Look at the eyeballs. Oh, this is this is what got me right in the beginning. A little too much overacting, you know. I know it's comedy. I know it's supposed to be slapstick. This was just a little too much for me. And of course, they're goofballs, which is makes it okay. And right around the corner is the beautiful blonde who's going to get them in trouble with the with the gangsters, right? right? But I, I, I John, 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 I have to, I have to say that that yeah. this is worth watching just to see how bad something could really be and still get it to pilot status on a network. This was on a real network. This well, is, it, it, it never aired. Well, it, it, was, never it, aired. It, it was it was shown. And they didn't, have, they didn't even have like cable and places to right. bury this kind of stuff. But this is, this is at the end of a five-year run of Get Smart, okay? Yes. And this yeah. was not even... Get dumb. I mean, this was yeah. so poor. Bosom buddies, okay. So you imagine, had two yeah, goofball guys watching, that did goofball right. On, this on was not other it. networks, on other networks, you're watching My Three Sons. You're right. watching uh, uh, the Partridge Family. Marcus Welby. Right. Marcus Welby. Right, and you're right. Uh, um, uh, the Get Smart just ended a five year run when this was made, right? So. I don't know what these people were thinking of. I guess because these two actors are, I I, I thought the actors looked like Danny Kay. All the mugging and all that's the not facial. Fair to I like Danny Kay. That was not nice. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's an insult to Danny Kay. You're right. So anyway, what I liked about this is I liked the idea that I could look back to 1970 and say to myself, I can see why they didn't put this on the air. It was terrible. It really was terrible. And by the way, it, it gives me hope for us that if somebody gave them money to yeah. do that, we could certainly should be able to get some money to do something that's a lot more quality than that. Oh, so oh some, I don't know. This, now look, this is very well done. It's just that I think they they pushed these two actors pushed the limit to making silly faces. They you know. spared no expense. <laughs> and, no, I think what happened was somebody said, hey, look, I work over at this hotel, okay? I'm on the night shift, okay? Like the midnight to 8 a.m. shift. Bring yeah. us to, I'll get you in in the back door. We'll film this whole thing before anybody shows up. So if you can get this done between 2 in the morning and 4.30 in the morning, I got a place for you, okay? Do me a favor. Jump forward on the, on the video to 6.30. Really? 6:30, and yeah. this is where they they shoot the mafia guy by accident. The girl, the girl is actually a hit woman. Oh, they right? put the she, they put the gun in the in a camera she, in the cake. 
Yeah, she fools them, tricks them into shooting right. the, the head mafia guy at his bank, at his own banquet. And um, and that's why, that's where the uh, chase ensues. And the rest of the movie is a chase through the hotel, you know. So here's my question is, what were they thinking of? What would the second episode be? I have no idea. I don't know where they well, were they going didn't kill. They didn't kill him. Oh, no, no. He has to be alive because he's a famous character actor. Right. I guess I guess there was a group of people who thought that if they got uh, uh, a, a contract to do uh, four or six episodes, that they had a bunch of stupid writers and they had a stupid room that they could They'd, come up with some more stupid concepts. Yeah. They would figure it out later. Right. Yeah. Well, remember, this is in the days when the networks had a lot of money. And they would actually make a pilot like this. And if they didn't like it, it would never ever see the light of air of uh, TV. And that's what happened to this one. This was never on television, not even one show. I, so you know, if they just, spent, if they spent more than uh, $2,000 on this whole episode, <laughs> which included craft services and 50 bucks for the name character actors, uh, I'd yeah. be stunned. <laughs> uh, go to uh, 1630. Boy, you really paid attention you paid attention to all oh, these yeah. I, special these moments. Oh yeah, my favorite parts. Okay, I didn't. My is favorite where, part. Uh, my favorite chasing, part came near the end. Yeah, now they're chasing uh, the female hit person. Right, and, and they, they dress they, up. They, like, and uh, so that this is a precursor to bosom buddies. Yeah, or, they, they, or some like it hot. They were. This is a yeah. homage to some like it hot. That's why they try. Yeah, right? of course. Yeah, they made a good effort at it. You know, here's the here's the mud spa, or whatever they call it. Well, how do you know uh, so much about these things? I've never been in a mud spa. Oh, you've never been to the uh, no. club mud? Oh, that's right. I forgot. You're a farmer. You have a, a farmer. Yeah. yeah, you're a mud guy. Yeah. I'm okay with it. I'm just saying. So, you know, you can see the humor here. It's not... They did a lot of work on this. This is some funny situations. Really? It's just somehow not... That great. I don't. I don't know how. You know. You know. It reminds course, me when you say it's funny. It reminds me of uh, Good Morning Vietnam when uh, the captain says, uh, yeah. "I know what funny is." Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go to um, eighteen thirty. Well, John, I'm so impressed. Right. You go to twenty one oh four. Twenty one oh four, not eighteen thirty. Words. Uh, it, it all comes around to the hitman uh, again, and they're on the balcony, right? And they're still. They're still, you know, in costume, dressed as women. You're right, bosom buddies. Tom Hanks did a lot better than these guys did. Uh, you think? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, folks, here's the deal. Uh, Vintage Film Channel uh, on YouTube and VintageFilmChannel.com um, has hundreds of old films and old TV shows, including losers like this. But it's fun it was actually fun. I watched the whole thing. I watched the whole thing. <laughs> the truth of the matter yeah. is, so, so there were some pretty awful things on TV, okay? Like the Dollar 98 beauty show. Totally mindless, better than this, okay? Yeah. This allows you to appreciate some of the real clunkers that came yep. after it, recognizing that there must have been something worse. This was it. And, yeah. and the character actors... Quite frankly, they were the hit of the show for me. All the the mob, uh, uh, mobsters in there, the guys who played mob, were all sweet guys. I think Robert Middleton was one of them. He's a, a person we've seen in a lot, actually, a lot of other movies. Uh, right. I wrote down one of the name, uh, Anthony Caruso. Uh, and so, in any event, there were a lot in there, and I couldn't pick them all out. I think that was Robert Middleton we just saw on the screen. Yeah. Okay, but he wasn't dead, so he was ready. To reprise his role, I'm sure. Uh, or maybe maybe these guys would have hired them to be the fall guys uh, to go to prison for them or something. And then they could have Run Jack Run in prison. Or they could have Run Jack Run uh, like I Spy. I, the possibilities are endless. All, all I can <laughs> say is all I can say is when you go to Vintage Film Channel, search and and scour, and there's all kinds of stuff there. Fun stuff, even the bad stuff is fun. So like the, the, I recommend you go to Vintage Like John, like John said, both he and I watched it to the end. 
And it wasn't to see if there was any redeeming value. We just wanted to see that it actually had an end. Well, not much of an end either. That was <laughs> no. the problem. At, at the end was like, what will I do next week? Well, nobody cares. Mm. <laughs> Thank, thankfully, anyway, folks, thankfully, they didn't care. We'll see you next week, all right? And we'll be looking at another old TV show or an old movie from uh, Vintage Film Channel. And it will, likely be, it will likely be of much better uh, redeeming value than this uh, piece of trash, which, as we say, we thoroughly enjoyed. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.